Good morning, my name is Christy Schneider and I'll be doing a creative IOP on The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. Um, my thesis statement. The purpose of this is to discuss how magical realism is portrayed throughout the journey that Gregor Sansa endures throughout the novel The Metamorphosis and the overall effect it takes on not only him but also throughout his family's life. I intend on doing this by analyzing the different transformations that Gregor um, goes through throughout his family. And my creative piece involves me choreographing a dance in which I go throughout his whole transformation process. My rationale. I choreographed a dance to analyze Gregor's different transformations and it is viewed as very intense and passionate to furthermore reach the goal of trying to captivate the audience's attention. In my dance, I tried to use specific steps that I felt would be easy to understand Gregor's transformations that have taken place. And his overall affects the Gregor's feelings towards his family. In the beginning, it showed what it was like before the transformation when he was waking up. Then it actually showed the actual transformation. And then the coping happened. And then it ended with the aftermath, which it resulted in Gregor's death. I'll be analyzing three main aspects, which is how, magical, how magical realism is portrayed throughout Gregor's whole transformation, how Gregor, Samsa, and the author Kof, Franz Kafka compare, and the analysis of the lonely faith, and furthermore, why I chose to create a dance. So I'll be on the transformations, which includes four main aspects, which is for Gregor's transformation, Gregor's first sign and warning, which is the actual transformation, the changes between the family and the family relationship, and the aftermath of Gregor's transformation, which is death and within the family. So um, explanation of the transformations, which is beginning, it, he didn't really change a whole lot because as soon as the novel began, he was waking up from a discouraged dream and he, he came into a horrible insect. And then as the actual transformation occurred, um, it, he stuck between two roles, his human form and the insect form. And as this continues throughout the whole novel, he is thinking about how, what the effects will take on his family within the financial situation because he is the main money maker. He, is, um, he has a job as a traveling salesman. And so some textual evidence, which is basically saying um, he's thinking about his day. He reflects like on his day and like everything he has to do. He's like, first of all, though I had to get up and get my tra and to get up my train leaves at five. He is reflecting throughout his day. And then some more explanations, which is um, the actual changes within the family. When he his family starts to see him as a burden instead of part of the family, and he's not seen as the brother anymore or the son. He is seen as burden and trouble, and they start having less and less contact within the family. And the aftermath, which um, after Gregor died, um, the Samson family eventually moves houses to like kind of start over, and he to forget all the bad memories that have taken place recently throughout their life with Gregor being transformed into a horrible um, insect. And some textual evidence is that they just don't really see him as part of the family anymore. Like when Greta is saying, "It's got to go," he shouted to he shouts to the father, and. He just, they don't really see him as part of the family anymore. Okay, so magical realism, which is a literary or artistic genre on which realistic narrative and natural techniques combine with real elements of dream or fantasy. And it began, a little bit of background, it began in Latin America and was widely loose, used throughout the 1940s and the 1950s. And some modern examples include the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling, which is kind of goes into, he's a young wizard and he goes to school and lists both in the magical world and in the real life world. So it deals with magical situations, but also endures like real life everyday situations. And also another example is The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. And the series follows a young girl who is throughout the series, she is part of the shadow hunter um, world and she's been co-assisting with the real world. So it also includes real life everyday situations and the magical world. So magical realism continued. Um, it is portrayed throughout the novel, The Metamorphosis, due to all events being realistic besides Gregor's transformation, which is at the beginning he turns into a horrible insect. Um, it is easily seen throughout the author Kafka by having the, sh the novella take place in a local apartment instead of somewhere unrealistic like on the moon or on the sun or Jupiter or something. 
Okay, now I'll be discussing the main character, um, Gregor Sansa. A little bit of background on Gregor is that he is, his occupation is a traveling salesman. He dislikes his job, but he keeps it because he feels like he is responsible for his father's debt, and he also feels like he has to provide for his family since no one is able to work. Um, he has transformed, at, at the beginning of the novel, he has to transform into an insect, and he spends the, last, uh, the rest of the novel in this form. And he really badly wants to reconnect with his humanity <coughs> and to regain his physical condition. So um, I'll be comparing the beginning and ending of Gregor's feelings towards his family. At the beginning, he felt like a love towards his family, like he was confused about what was happening. And now he feels, and he feels like sad, and then he starts like seeing, realizing the way he's treat, they're treating him. And Greta was the only one that really had anything to do with them. She would bring him meals, and she would be come in there very quietly, not to disturb him. And then towards the end, Gregor disliked his family and felt hatred towards them because he felt like a burden. And eventually, he gives up like the hope of regaining his humanity, and eventually, he dies. Okay, so explanation. Gregor did he did have a sense of hope at the beginning of the novella because. Um, Due to Greta not treating him to any different other than Mr. and Mrs. Samsa, his father and mother, they started treating him different. They didn't want to have any contact with him. And um, then Gregor's perspective changed because Greta did not care for him anymore. Towards the end, she came saying, get out of our lives. We started stirring hatred towards him and began calling Gregor it instead of the brother, referring to the brother. So Gregor's breaking point. When Greta reveals like his her hatred towards um, Gregor, he wishes that she would simply go away because he's causing the family very much pain. And Greta changed um, attitude towards Gregor, saddens Gregor, and he feels like he cannot go on any longer. And he feel, he knows that he's not able to like go back to his humanity. So he eventually just gives up and eventually dies towards the end. So family relations. Greta does care about her brother at the beginning, um, even though he is a giant insect. Um, and then towards the end, as we all know, she begins not giving, um, showing hatred towards him, and then eventually saddens him to death. Mr. Samsa just expects Gregor to support the family and to um, to make money, even though and he, he doesn't show appreciation towards him. He just expects it and to keep coming at. And then Miss Samsa. She, she, she's a very loving figure. She does love her son unconditionally, but she doesn't have any encouragement to like actually save him and to get him out of this, like to save him from it. So some textual evidence. Um, this is just showing like, the hardship and that Greta was trying to get Gregor out and then finally, at last, she locked him out of um, the house. Okay, now I'll be discussing the author, Francis Kafka. A little bit of background on Francis Kafka is that he was a traveling salesman. He feared that people would find him repulsive. Um, he came from a middle-class German-speaking um, Jewish family, and he died at a very young age. So I will be comparing Rear Samson and Francis Kafka now. Um, they are both traveling salesmen, as we both know. They both died at a very young age due to Gregor's transformation, and they also had um, abusive fathers. They had like very negative relationship with their father figure, and they had like a mother that they loved them, but they didn't really have any effort towards helping them or saving them. And as we all know, Gregor turned into an insect. He had one sister named Greta, and he was the only son. And Franz Kafka, he feels like he was an insect because all the abusiveness he felt from his father and he felt like he didn't want to leave his house anymore and just stay in bed. And he actually had three sisters and he became the only son by ha his two um, older brothers. They eventually died. Okay, now I will be showing my creative portion, which is the choreographed dance of the Lonely Faith. <laughs> Thank you. 
Gregor's um, Loss of Humanity, and it's a simple color and form. And the black color costume re re obviously represents death and badness. Um, the music I chose to, um, I think the tone complements the choreography very well, and it goes throughout the highs and lows of Gregor's transformation experience. The use of another person, I felt that it helped portray the, um, the story and the theme very well. And the name of the dance is pretty much self-explanatory. It just shows what happens throughout Gregor's life, was like throughout the book, or the novel. Um, the one-shot view. Um, since there was only one perspective throughout the book, it seemed fitting to have only a one-shot view of the dance. Um, the close-up. I think it creates a, a really strong connection with the audience and the motion of the dance. A glimpse of hope, and the dance you can see me smiling during one of the um, scenes. And I think it incorporates the movement of having when, Gre when Greta actually doesn't lose fate in his, um, his brother. She actually calls him by his name, brings him food, it's actually carrying towards his feelings throughout the beginning of it, and then towards the end it gets kind of negative. And then the foreshadowing of death. Um, you can see that when the dancer comes in, you can see that it exaggerates the knowing of death is pursuing him. And then the background of the room. I, I chose this background because it is rather normal and casual. And it's like Gregor's apartment. It takes place, like most of it takes place in his room. And I felt like it represented it really well. And you said the close up. I felt that this is really a big impact of the, um, mo uh, the choreography because it goes, um, it shows a really strong connection with the audience. <coughs> the glimpse of hope. Um, strong emotions when death comes in. I felt like that was a really big part. And the climax, when I am dancing, actually facing death. And I thought that was a big part of it, too. And then death, when she looks at, when she comes back, um, they never, it only gets one last look. She never really actually let go of Gregor. And my conclusion. The overall magical realism is seen portrayed throughout the me um, metamorphosis, when Gregor is turned into a horrible insect. And I feel that the novel also reflects many aspects of Franz Kafka's life as parallelism between Gary Sansa and Kafka. And that's all. Thank you.